Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. Damn air on, and they don't need air. Yeah, they got the AC blasted. Oh, I told her this morning. I said, "Why do you have the air on?" I said, "It's freezing over here." I'm gonna have to start wearing my long sleeve denim shirts now, like oh. long sleeve shirts like you're wearing. I'm so tired of being fucked with. I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah. I really had enough. I had enough. Ridiculous. It just don't work with you. Yeah, it's I gotta mean, be the complete opposite of common sense. It's cold. Turn the air off, or at least lower the thermostat. Oh, oh, they just don't get it. They don't get it. I'm tired of it. Really am. Yeah. You only take so much. You like fuck. Yeah, from from A to Z. Oh, uh, I mean, you're. You're still not in your apartment yet? I mean... Oh, I don't care. I, yeah, I'm past the point of caring. I just don't care. I'm sick of it all. Now, this, co this is a college game on. Does that mean they got cable back or not really? No. It's just the okay. forward. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of... They're not going to get jack shit here. Come on, man. I've been watching a lot of CNN. It's been really good lately. Well, they're all... Lately? They're always good. They always... Yeah. Have everything I'm, on. Hey, I'm so, I'm so happy Barack Obama was starting to hit hard with that speech. Well, it's about time. Like, you know, he's like over eight years overdue for, for lowering the boom. I know. Dude. Trump is an idiot, idiotic moron. Now, some, 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 of course, some moron was defending Trump. Um, well, they and, all do, all the Republicans do. Well, there were like a lot of people that are generally. Yeah, I, I would like to see an end, though. Ask some of these Republican senators and congressmen. Why are you You keep defending Trump. You keep the. Is this. Are you doing this because you're afraid of losing your reelection? Really put him right against the wall. Is that why you're doing this? Because what Trump is doing, let's be honest, he doesn't make, you know, be I'd be a bitch. He doesn't make any sense. In my opinion, he lost the election by four million votes. You make excuses for everything this guy does. Lies He's divided constantly. us with our allies. Are you doing this because of your re-election? Or is it truly because of your convictions? I want to know right now. Yeah. I'd like to see what the, guy, the, the, the guy is always siding with Vladimir Putin. Oh. Nothing Russia can do wrong. I mean, he lies God knows how many times a day. <laughs> Over, uh, you know you know who's really tough on Trump? Michael Avenatti, Stor Stormy Daniels' lawyer. No. <laughs> oh, all of CNN. Yeah, yeah, for uh, Chris oh, Cuomo. Chris Cuomo, Cuomo, they rip him to shreds. 
Remember Don, when Don Lemon goes, no, he goes, this guy's insane. Oh, yeah, I watched Don Lemon. He's half the Cuomo. He's on late. He said, this guy's crazy. Okay. Pull punches. You know who was really... And you know what Trump watches more? CNN, because he knows they don't like him and they tell the truth. Whereas Fox is looking the propaganda Nazi machine. You know who kept on trying to um, talk over and interrupt a Chris Cuomo? Kellyanne Conway. Oh, she always does that. She doesn't shut her freaking mouth. She does jack, 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 yeah. She won't oh. give the poor man a chance to say anything. Oh. And she goes the full, the full name, Christopher. 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 That's like patronizing, condescend. Well, in 20, 2016, she sure lashed into Trump. They had her on. They have her on on videotape many times. No, not again. I never heard. No, in twenty sixteen campaign. Twenty sixteen. No, she was part of the campaign. She never said a thing against Trump. No, what I mean is when she kissed his ass. When Trump was bashing the other Republicans, um, candidates for twenty. Yeah, but she sided with that. The Trump can do no wrong. On it. Same with that Michael Cohen moron. Remember, I'll take a bullet for Trump. You idiot. No, you won't. You're a liar. You know. Yeah. Well, what I what I had um, target boy. What what I had told this Trump's a Trumpanzee supporter, which is what I people have been calling him lately, um, is that Barack Obama had nothing but obstructionism for I think six out of the eight years he was in office. The first two the first two years the Democrats had control, then they lost control of the House and Senate. So for six years they they I had the Democrats take it back. They had com they've had complete obstruction. The poor man couldn't get anything done. They just disagreed and disagreed. Yeah. That's wrong. You know, you gotta go by what's right. Now I'm surprised it took him so many years to, to, to lower the boom. Now he's saying we need health care for, for everyone, Medicare for all, single single payer. Uh, hey, you should have said that years ago. Well, you know, free. if you're, let's say if you're, well, yeah, of course, the, the very rich won't be on a tax vacation well, that's anymore. Well, what Bernie Sanders, everything free. Somebody pays. Don't kid you. Nothing is free. Yeah, well, Somebody's the, well, the middle pay. class is getting hammered. The rich are are based like Joe, Jeff Bezos and all those people are have been on a tax vacation. Well... They don't need insurance, let's be honest. I wonder if he even has insurance. Why, why should he have insurance? You know what? To him, it's nothing. You're right. The top 2%. Medical, medical, whatever. My surgery is $10 million. To me, it's nothing Listen, if I was basic. If, well, it's not if my brother-in-law, who's middle class, is paying 500 a month for his own health insurance, yeah, Bezos is nothing. you know them. Why should, why should Bezos, Bezos have insurance? He doesn't need it. No. Nothing. So therefore, he doesn't care. Yeah, so, no. Nobody opens their mouths. Nobody, says Nobody does that. How long does it take to adjust the thermostat? I mean, come on. How long does it take to adjust the thermostat? Yeah. But seriously, I, I thought Chris Cuomo was way too kind to Kellyanne Conway, man. He, she just, he's just very, he's too, he's a great guy. He's a little too polite, though. I would, I would have says, um, I would have raised my voice. Uh, she's raising her voice to me, you know. You know uh, uh, Wolf Blitzer, no, they're all great. They're all great. Oh my God, all. The guy on the weekend, the Arabic guys on, I think Sunday. Oh, uh, uh, Farid, Farid Zakaria. He's excellent. Yeah, and then there's the girl today Brian, is Fre Seltzer. Frederick, Frederick. Uh, Whitfield. Right, Whitfield. They're the weekend. For the guy from Philadelphia, uh, Smirconish. He's actually yeah. Tapper is one of their. Jake Tapper. They're all good. Yeah. And when they all sit at a table, and they're like, oh, I like the part when they talk to each other, like when Chris Cuomo talks to, talks to Don Lemon, yeah. you know, before they switch over. They hang out together. They're good friends. Now they're saying that um, um, Senator um, Cory Booker, what he did was just grandstanding for his political career in 2020, because he could get kicked out. But then again, the for what? What did he really yeah. say? Well, the, Repu the Republicans didn't hold back on on those um, Michael Co 
But what have the Republicans done? They've done nothing. Yeah. No, I mean, they cleared... Um, it was about Michael Cohen, right? That they, they cleared... They cleared... They already cleared... Well, the Papadopoulos only got 14... No, not Michael Cohen. He only got two, 14 days in prison, but... Uh, um... No, Kavanaugh. I'm sorry. The, 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 oh, this the, new uh, Supreme Court guy. Yeah, the, um, um, racist statements made by Kavanaugh. The Republicans supposedly already cleared this information to go public. And no, I didn't hear anything about racist. What did he say? Yeah. Uh, well, Cory Booker has like a whole bunch of stuff from Kavanaugh ready to go public with. And, and Donald Trump right now is still obsessed with that anonymous New York Times writer. Yeah, well, he wants he wants to spend. I wish you'd get upset, upset obsessed with against Russia a little bit. Yeah, he's um, he wants to spend a lot of taxpayers' money and get to to get Jeff Sessions to investigate who this anonymous writer is. Why do you care? Why you, does he you, care you, so much? Well, like CNN people said, the anonymous writer did not break any federal law. No, he didn't break any law. So if you give your opinion and say, Free speech. I think Trump is an insane, right, egomaniacal, narcissistic asshole. So what does that mean? Oh, <clears throat> that you deserve to be fired or you deserve to be put in prison for treason? I wonder who it is. I'd, just, I'd be curious to know who it is, but I don't care. Who it's it not. Is. It's not treason to tell the no truth. So what? He told the truth about Donald Trump. How was that treason? He was too kind to Trump, really. Yeah, I, 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 I read what it said, and he was too kind. Is there anything wrong there? I think, come on. The guy is a whack job. Yeah. He secretly dates Eileen. I think. Eileen. Oh, she's fucked up. Could you imagine? Now, now I know why psychiatrists and psychologists get paid so much. They have to deal with people like her day in and day out. Heroin addicts stole her phone from here. Then I wasn't listening. We stole it back at her apartment. I, said, You're still I mean, e e e even if I witness what she says, she still says. You we're listening. wrong. You we're not listening. listening. You weren't listening. Well, when she shuts up with the amulet, though, when that goes in, I said, You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Your brother does not make 80 grand. I'm waiting for the. Um, Her the, brother doesn't make 40 now. <laughs> you know that? Well, isn't that half of 80 grand? <laughs> he doesn't make that. Her brother makes decisions, pays her bill. He doesn't pay her bills. He has power. She talked. He was so wealthy. He just couldn't not train her. If he had power of attorney, she would know it. She has to sign for it. Yeah, you don't just shake somebody's hand and say, "All right, man, you know what? I'm going to give you power of attorney. I like you. I'll give you power of attorney." Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's not power of attorney. Oh, then she, she she should be in the padded room then. Does, is Eileen's brother her, does she have power of attorney over her? Is she lying about that as well? Oh, man. <laughs> We're going to stop the show. It's going right in here. Thank God I have so much wine. Good, strong dessert wine at home. Thank God. I got Japanese plum wine. I bought blueberrery wine. Man, What's is that good? How did you get off on that now? We're talking about Ireland. No, it's alcohol to help oh, yeah, yeah. You, you relax my nerves. Oh, God. What do you want to know? Oh, is... Eileen doing anything important that she's not ha here or, or over a week? Our further point is Eileen here at Madonna has been here in like six days. Is she doing anything important that's keeping her away? Look at that. Bam, right? Is no. Is she doing whatever she's doing? Is it just total bullshit? 
Look at that. Interesting. Did she, did she, did Eileen get the St. Benedict's medallion blessed? That medallion that Jimmy Madonna gave to her, the St. Benedict's medallion, he gave her a week or so ago. She got blessed by a priest. I'm not giving her anything ever again. I'm done. No more gifts, Billy. Oh, no I'm more gifts. Want to go ahead. Yeah, but you know how you know how rare, uh, you know how hard it is to get them. What about that hard? You whispered to me it was a. No, yeah, but the the Indian guy that that own, that runs the do, uh, Dollar Zone, he tells me. I'll get them in every week if you if you buy if you buy them by you know like a, a half a dozen or so I'll get them in every week James doesn't do it um, the tripods for the cell phone I'll get them in every week James he doesn't do it that's remember we were talking about their personalities people from that part of the world well they're I think well, the idiots still have prearranged marriages in their culture, so that says a, a lot. Can you imagine being a poor a daughter, having your parents say, "Oh, this is who you have to marry." Th you got to marry this guy, and this ugly Quasimodo hunchback of Notre Dame is your husband. I hear they have a year trial, though. That's not right. But still, you got it. You got it. There should be no trial. Okay. Let her pick her own. No trial whatsoever. And they still try to do the same thing here. That's what kills me. This is the 21st century in the United States of America. You, if you cannot assimilate into our culture, then stay, stay the hell back in your country. First of all, stop your religion. It's bullshit. You know they have. You don't have. They have Hindu gods for money. Then how come they have poverty over there? Are any of the world's religions correct or right? Is that? No. Watch. Is religion a total load of bullshit? There you go. There's your answer, Jerry. Is, off, drop your religion. is the human race and evolution one big extraterrestrial experiment? I told you that. The Anunnaki put us here. We're on the floor. The Anunnaki? What's the human race and species put here by the Anunnaki? Were the Anunnaki here on Earth looking for a spot long before the human race was implanted here? There you go. See? You know what? Being that this weather is the way it is, it's putting me in the mood for seafood. I got some nice codfish fillets from all these. What's that got to do with it? We're doing it on a yeah, I know. seafood. No, but I'm just thinking about codfish right now. Yeah, but why aren't you not thinking about Anunnaki right now? We're not okay. I, I just, maybe I got hungry. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I got hungry too, but I don't know <laughs> about food. I mean, you know. Jeez. Yeah. If I brought a three dimensional chessboard, would you play with me? They got? They're expensive. Oh, they look good though. Well, how much do they want? Over a dollar each, ten or ten forty nine. Wonder how big they are. Tender. You know. Oh, that they're small. Well, there it is. Look at it. Well, up there they look huge. No, they don't. Oh, uh, compared to the box, I got you. Now. Ten of them for ten forty nine. Hey, then then again, those double burgers look humongous too. Well, they are. They're pretty good size. They are. Oh, I bought. At all these, I bought um, certified organic grass-fed Black Angus hamburgers. They're eight-ounce burgers each. Where? At all these, they're eight-ounce burgers. You get for ten bucks, you get a whole stack of them. I think. Are they good? Oh, are they good? I had one last night with Swiss cheese melted. I put the hot sauce right on. First, I put the sauce, then I put the cheese on top. You put your mom. My mother got real picky. She only likes, and I don't know why, banquet meatloaf with creamy mashed potatoes. And guess who sells them? The Dollar Tree. She is has become so picky. 
that she's 86 years old. How's she doing with her bathroom stuff? Great, since I've been putting fiber in her oatmeal, I've been putting flaxseed meal. What is she having accidents? No, no, it's solid. What, did she build a bathroom or she wore a diaper? Oh, well, I got, we got to put two diapers, uh, pull-ups. She gets two, otherwise she'll wet her pants in the, in the, in the bed. Yeah, two pull. She gets two pull-ups and one urinary pad, and that yeah, it sucks to get old. I'm telling you, you never think your parents would get this work. You know, my my um, my aunt from Baltimore's cousin Henry says the only thing golden about the golden yeah, years you don't hear is the, much in the golden years of the war. is the urine. Yeah, is the urine is the only thing golden about the golden years. What are you saying? The golden years of the war. Yeah, how does it golden? You, you're, you're suffering. You're getting. You, know, you got pains. You're, you're, people are sick. You know what? Go to the restroom. Let me know how comfortable it is in there. It's cold or warm. It'll be freezing. Look at this. You got shorts. I had to put my sleeves down just to be a little warmer. Because I didn't anticipate I this. I didn't either. I said this is crap. I'm gonna start wearing my my uh, what do you call my denim long sleeves i still got the route 66 shirts from kmart this is not right this is not right I, I you know i like i like that clothing line i miss that route 66 from you miss it this area there's still kmarts in 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 the country still some you check it on your phone well, all you right them? check it out Kmart. Kmart locations. Go ahead. Kmart locations, Bergen County. Did Check they shut out. down the, what was that, Paramus? The big one up Route 17? Well, that's been gone for two years oh. plus. So is Lodi. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out while I'm in the bathroom. All right. Kmart locations, Bergen County. Bergen County. <laughs> the other thing, too, is... uh. When you meet me at Gabriel's one, you'll see how you walk in, it's comfortable. You're not freezing, you're not sweating. Yeah, because it's management nice. management have, have a head on their shoulders. Like this, you come in, everybody's a nervous wreck. Am I going to freeze? Am I going to sweat? You don't know what's, it's a crapshoot. Is, is there just no common sense, or is it just a lack of intellect, or? I think a combination. It's just everything. It's, I mean, it's, it's, they just don't get it. You're talking about a much higher caliber of management. So I walked in this morning. Oh, God, it's freezing. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is not good. This is good? I said, well, come over there. It's freezing. Man, you 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 could you could wear a, knit, a knitted hat if you come in here in the morning. She said she goes. People should if it's that cold, they should bring a coat or a jacket. I said they shouldn't have to. Indoors, she wants people. They come to... in to get comfortable. Yeah, but you're indoors. Why should they bring a coat or a jacket? Why should they need stuff to keep warm? Maybe when they go outside. Well, that's not the point. You're coming inside to get comfortable. I said, come on. That was a dumb answer she gave you. I thought that uh, surprised a me. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jacket indoors? I have to bring clothing so I can be comfortable in your your business. Yeah, I mean, what, what if uh, like Barnes and Noble and Starbucks and everybody else said the same thing? Oh no, no, no! Yeah, if you don't like it, bring a coat. You know, management Barnes and Noble, you know, notice was very professional. You said anything, they said, we'll take care of it. Yeah. Well, my sister said the only exception is the computer room where they, they keep the... Uh, well, it has to be kept cool. Yeah. yeah. So that's different. But, uh, well, not in the computer room. I know, I know. Um, the servers, that's the word I was looking for. The main service. There's no excuse for this being cold. You don't need air today. You don't need air. If anything, you should have maybe the, oh. the heat slightly on. If I knew this, I would have brought my my knitted my knitted hat. My I'd be wearing my jacket if I had it. My watch cap. The bottom line is, why do we have to be uncomfortable? Listen. Now that I know how this place is going to be, I'm going to bring. Yeah, bring something. In your I'm going to bring. I'm yeah. going to bring my my fleece, my fleece uh, sweater for you, and I'm going to bring my 
my um, insulated uh, vest. Yeah, this is insane. There's I, no reason for this. I'll bring it. We shouldn't have to talk about the inside temperature. It should be right. automatic. You walk and you're comfortable. And it's not, it's not on your mind. Yeah, I mean, it's not even friggin' October, November. Oh, and this is insane. You know, our teeth would be chattering if it was November. Oh. That's another issue. Your friggin' coats and jackets are in the apartment. That's right. My mom and dad are in the apartment. Everything. Yeah, so you're supposed to do catch virus because you can't get you can't get access to your coat. It's fucked up. It's all fucked up. If you do catch virus, that that'll only magnify the a lawsuit. Well, I'm going to sue. Oh, without a doubt. Could you imagine if you, God forbid, you no, got, you got sick? I said I have some grounds for some kind of a lawsuit. A disability Act lawsuit. I said, oh, no, I'll forget it. Jack, Jackie will hook you up. <clears throat> that, there's, no, there's nothing I would, there's nothing I would, I would love better than to see that son of a bitch get sued. To me too. He doesn't deserve it. He, he deserves to be so when I think of him, I think of your ex landlord in Ridgewood. Oh, I think it's the same mentality, you know? These are guys you wish death upon. Yes. You hate to say that, but they're not human in my book. I hope no. you die. I hope you die. Because you're not human. To me. No you compassion I mean? at all. No. You have the organs of a human. That doesn't make you human. I yeah. want you to die. Yeah. I know. I, I know what he tried to do. Lingering, suffering, death. I know what he tried to do. Yeah. He wants to re-rent the apartment and, and jack up the uh, the rent. Do that. It can't happen. It's a disability act. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production. <laughs>